Sue's a sensitive young girl who needs to be treated delicately. Her emotions are right on the surface. She's not Axel. Dork. Dork. I would never stop punching you. Oh my god, those look so great. Seriously, I think you should really, really buy them. I'm bored. Hey, did mom say you could bring those in? Did mom say you could eat that candy bar? I found it under the couch. Why do you even need those stupid curlers? They're broken anyway. I've had them since fourth grade. What, are you afraid you're gonna hurt their feelings if you throw them out? What? I, I was kidding. Oh, my God! Sue thinks her curlers have feelings! No, I don't! Really? What if I did this? No, no! Oh. Stop it! Stop it! You're scaring it! Scaring it? Oh, my God! This just gets better and better! No! Oh. No, Axel! Axel, give them back! Stop! Give them back Stop. right now! Stop! You can save one! Which one will it be, Sue? This one? Or this one? Please don't make me choose! Look, look, I know it's silly, but I used to put them in my hair in a different order each time so that none of them felt left out. Oh. I'm sorry, Sue. I didn't know. You were out of your freaking mind! <gasps> Axel, did you hear that? They're coming to arrest us. For what? Penal Code 35-45, Section 3. We need to get our story straight. Okay, here's the story. We went to donate to charity, and we did. Hope we don't get the chair. But the sign and the voice, oh, that voice, it haunts me. Maybe we should tell mom and dad. There's nothing to tell, except that spring break was a major suck fest. Well, just so you know, whatever happens, I got your back. Sorry, Sue. I'd love to talk to you about this more, but my stapler is feeling pretty left out, so I gotta go spend some time with it. 